Hi friends, it is time for story time with Miss Doty, and I have a book to read to you today that I think you will like. Miss Judy's lessons have been about parables. Parables are stories, and stories were Jesus' favorite way of teaching about God. I have another link here. Our stories today are all about something that is lost and then is found. And you might want to go to that link and hear or watch videos of two stories in the Bible that Jesus taught. Today's story is a party to remember. And see if you can figure out what lesson the author wants you to learn from this story. The author's name is Tim Tebow, and he was an NFL player and also a professional baseball player. He loves Jesus. So he writes books that have stories in them that help young people know how special they are and what God's love is like. So let's read our story. A Party to Remember by Tim Tebow and illustrated by Jane Chapman. Wake up, Squirrel shrieked. The party is tonight. Do you have your puzzle piece? Bronco squinted, one eye open. I've got mine. Bronco patted the soft grass. Where are my glasses? And suddenly he remembered something important. Days earlier, he'd received a card. It read, Come find our special party full of music, fun, and treats. We'll have a big old puzzle, though it won't yet be complete. Yours is the missing piece that is no mystery. You'll find it when you realize you are made purposefully. Because Bronco had terrible vision, he didn't think he was special enough to go to the party, so he'd thrown out the invitation. I guess I'm not going, Bronco told Squirrel. Yet deep inside his heart, he really wanted to. At least... Try to find your puzzle piece. It's out there somewhere. We all have one. You don't want to miss the party, Bronco. Bronco's heart began to race. He slapped on his glasses and he pawed through his dog dish. No puzzle piece. He dug around the yard. Nothing. Using his special gift of sniff, with his ears attuned to the tiniest sound, Bronco widened his search. Do we me puzzle Chipmunk called out to Bronco. I'm practicing my scales for the karaoke, karaoke contest at the party. I want to win. Whoa, great pitch. As he walked on, Bronco saw Pig testing out his tap shoes. Oh no, Robin called. Watch out, Bronco! Bronco tumbled onto something soft. Chelsea the rabbit sighed deeply. I'm so sorry. My long ears are always in the way. Bronco gathered Chelsea's ears off the path and gently placed them behind her. Are you going to the party? He asked. I'd like to, Chelsea answered, but I don't know where it is. And anyway, I have no one to go with. Why not come with me? 
It's always better together. Bronco's ears twitched. Is someone crying? Ethan wiped away a tear. What's wrong? Bronco asked. I'm supposed to go to the party, but my wing is broken. I can't carry my puzzle, please. Uh, and of my ears and come with us, Chelsea offered. Bronco is showing me the way. Ethan hopped up and giggled, tickled by Chelsea's long and fuzzy ears. The trio traveled on together. Bronco sniffed ahead for his missing puzzle piece. Ah, choo! Bronco said, what was that? Embarrassed, a goat slunk to the ground. Are you okay, Alexis? chirped Ethan. I sneezed too loud and scared everyone away, the goat said. I've been invited to the party, but I don't think anyone would want me there. We do, Bronco said. On the gang walked. Bronco's nose led the way, searching for the party and his puzzle piece. My ears are so heavy, Chelsea fussed. I don't know how much longer I can hop. I really want to go to the party, Ethan whispered. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Alexis interrupted herself with another sneeze. Let's go, friends. We can't stop now. But as Bronco sniffed onward, he looked at his friends and sighed. What if I let them down? This is too Hard, Bronco yelped. I don't think I'll ever find my puzzle piece, and I don't know the way to the party. You can do this. You can do this, Bronco, his friends chorused. I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for you. Chelsea said. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you finding Chelsea, Ethan chirped. I wouldn't be here if you hadn't invited me along, Alexis bleated. Maybe I am here for a reason, Bronco thought. Achoo! Alexis sneezed so big and so loud, the branches swished open and, wait, what is that? I smell pizza. Are those lights? I hear music. The party. Critters of all kinds paraded down a velvety red carpet with glittery lights. It was a celebration like no other. They couldn't wait to go inside. Bronco's heart fell. He still hadn't found his puzzle piece. Sadly, Bronco turned to leave. Colby, the handsome host, in his natural tux, waved at Bronco. Looking for this? The pooch leapt with joy. That's mine! Bronco, you helped each of your friends get here today, thanks to your special gifts of sniff and hearing. Each creature is born unique, 
Our differences make us special. And someone special like you is always able to do great things. Bronco paused beside a grand table with a giant puzzle. His was the missing piece everyone was waiting for. Are you ready to celebrate? Colby asked. Now it was time to party. Hop on, Chelsea announced to Ethan and his tiny friends as she flapped her giant ears. Alexis gobbled up some tasty treats before she needed to sneeze again. Bronco, Colby said, I heard you have a side hustle mixing beats. Just show me where the DJ booth is. Later that night, under a beautiful starry sky, the four friends walked home. They beamed and giggled as they shared their favorite moments from their party to remember. Now, from the Bible, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 10, we hear these words. We are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. You are unique, you are special, and you are wonderful. Were you able to find the lesson in this story about you and how God loves you? I hope you did, because you are unique, you are special, and you are wonderful. Isn't that a wonderful story? Now, my friends, go in peace, my friends. Bye.